Hi. Today I wanted to tell you all different effects used in the studio. These are available as outboard equipment and as a simulation of those in form of a software plugin for your DAW. There are a few different categories of effects. Frequency, dynamics, modulations, delay and reverbs and special effects. Let's start with the frequency effects, EQs. Here we have a parametric EQ, which means we have three settings for our equalizer, the cut and the boost setting, the frequency you want to adjust and the Q factor. The Q factor is the setting how wide your cutting or boosting is taking place. Then we have graphic EQs, which are used for mastering, so adjust the sound of your whole recording. Um, here is uh, the frequency and the Q factor is already set. You can only cut and boost different frequencies. Next, dynamic effects. First, the noise gate. This is a dynamic effect that cuts off all signal that is under a specified level. It used to get rid of signals on tracks that aren't supposed to be on that. This is a little picture of a signal. You can see the threshold level. This is where the gate is closing and don't let any sound out of the effect. Settings on a noise gate or the threshold, this is the level when the signal is cut off, the attack time, it's the time of a fade in, if the noise gate is closed and the signal gets louder than your threshold. You need this if the sound clips, on drums you don't use it because you want all the attack time. Hold is the time after the gate is opened to let it stay open even, even if the signal is under the threshold. Release is the fade out after the signal level is going under the threshold. Hold and release is to adjust the timing of your gate. Next, compressors. Compressors are dynamic effects that compresses a level of a signal to get equal levels. These are used if you have some peaks in your recording and some very low level parts. You can adjust this to get an equal level of your recording, but only in a very limited way. Here you can see a little graph before and after the compressor. The settings are the threshold, it's the level where the compressor is working, the ratio, how much the compressor is working, the attack time, if the signal is above threshold, the time till the compressor works, the release time, when the signal gets below that threshold, the time till the compressor stops working, and this is the makeup gain to make the signal louder at the end. This is the gain reduction. Here you can see how much uh, the compressor is reducing your signal.
modulations. These are effects like chorus, flanger and phaser. These are very small delay effects that differ their delays automatically in a specified way. Normally these delays are a few milliseconds. So you can make a chorus of yourself if you copy your track and put a small track delay on one of those. Delays. A delay is an effect that will send the signal which is sent in out again to your signal in a specified time. The next setting is the feedback. Feedback is how much this signal is repeated. Then we have the reverbs. A reverb is a simulation of a real room, a hall or something like that. There are different kinds of reverb. Rooms, halls, plates, uh, cathedral and such things. Uh, basic setting is the time. Here you can set how long your reverb is. And at last, the special effects, like distortion or something like this. These are many different effects, I won't discuss all of them, just here the one distortion effect. That's it. In a few weeks I will make the drum recording video. Hope to see you then. See ya!